I was very pleased to see the Lord Lieutenant and the Prime Minister greeting Joe Biden in Northern Ireland because, of course, uh, this is part of the United Kingdom. Uh, and if that comes across to Joe Biden, uh, that's the first point uh, that should be made to him because, you know, he talks about the Belfast Agreement and coming to celebrate the Belfast Agreement. But the Belfast Agreement is very clear that Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom until such times as people in Northern Ireland decide otherwise. And he needs to remember that when he's talking about the Belfast Agreement, because we know that he is, Dan, the most partisan president there has ever mm. been uh, when dealing with Northern Ireland. This goes right back to the 1980s when we did actually have a special relationship uh, with the then United States President uh, Ronald Reagan and our own Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. And at that time, as a senator, Joe Biden uh, spoke against um, helping to extradite IRA suspects uh, to the United Kingdom to face trial. And, well, indeed. Uh, and tell me, I mean, what about even more recently than that, when he was pictured with Rita O'Hare, who was on the run for yeah. terrorism offences? Yes, he was quite happy to be uh, photographed with the late Rita O'Hare and Jerry Adams, despite the fact that she was wanted uh, for the attempted murder of a soldier back in 1971. Uh, that didn't bother Joe Biden. He was happy to be photographed with her. And the list goes on and on, Dan, in relation to his dismissal of the British people living here in Northern Ireland. You've already made reference to the, if you're wearing orange, you're not welcome here. And of course, he reveled in the fact that he told a story about uh, his mother refusing to sleep in a bed because her, the late Majesty the Queen had slept in the bed. So it goes on and on. He hates uh, the United Kingdom. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Uh, and um, I just think uh, the fact that he's coming here won't put any pressure on the Democratic Unionist Party at all, quite the reverse, actually because he's seen by so many people as just simply pro-Republican and pro-nationalist. So when it comes to the Windsor framework, uh, Dame Arlene, uh, the DUP is going to dismiss this message from Joe Biden over the next 24 hours. I don't think he has any kudos with the Democratic Unionist Party at all. He has no standing with them. And that was underlined tonight when uh, Lord Nigel Dodds uh, has said uh, any pressure from an American administration, which is so transparently pro-nationalism, constitutes no pressure at all on the DUP. So, I mean, they have made it very clear that they don't feel any pressure from this man because he is so uh, um, pro-nationalist. And, I mean, it comes to something when even Sir Tony Blair... Uh, this morning on Radio 4 said he cautioned the president to be careful and to be sensitive and to not put undue pressure on the DUP because he knows uh, that uh, there's a need to be balanced in dealing with Northern Ireland and Joe Biden is anything but balanced. Yeah, he's not. He's not at all balanced. It, it feels like he almost goes out of his way, Arlene, to be undiplomatic when it comes to his dealings with the UK and especially uh, with the unionists? I don't know whether he thinks he's been funny or, or whether no, it's uh, a faux pas, but uh, he's, he's certainly See, not I funny. Think he, uh, we don't I find, actually think we don't he find him feels amusing it here. deeply. <laughs> no, and I don't think he thinks he's been funny. I think he feels it deeply. I think it's something, you know, I've gone back and looked at the passages in his autobiography talking about his relationship with Ireland. You, you mentioned his mother, you know, his mother actually had a hatred of, of the English. This is something that is ingrained in Joe Biden. And, and, and that's why I think actually the next 24 hours is going to be uh, counterproductive, if I'm being honest. Well, it's quite interesting, actually, because uh, it was said in the House of Lords recently that Joe Biden had relatives in Sussex as well. But we don't hear too much about no, them. Dan. We hear plenty about, about his that. Irish relatives, but nothing about his Sussex relatives. So let's see if he remedies that uh, yeah. this weekend.